All right, guys, this is it. This is document E, the last one, and um, it's a short one. Only a couple of questions. Document E, this comes from Leslie Gordon, the New Crusade, Cleveland, Ohio, the Crusaders Incorporated, 1932. For the last time, go ahead and up here, write a P or write out the word primary or S for secondary if you think it is primary or secondary, all right? Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, um, let's read through this. Quick uh, preview here. This one is all about money, okay? Greenbacks, let's find out why. Before prosperity, prosperity, here we're talking about financial success, but prosperity could mean all of these things here, but we're today, this document talks about money. All right, so before prosperity can return in this country, the budgets of local and national governments must be balanced. If the liquor now sold by bootleggers was legally sold, regulated, and taxed, the tax income would pay the interest on the entire local and national debt and leave more than $200 million for urgently needed purposes. So they're basically saying um, you can't tax something that's illegal. So when when booze is illegal, they couldn't tax it, okay? Think about what that might be like today. So think about in relation to mar marijuana, um, what happened once marijuana became legal. Um, if you don't know, just do a quick, we'll talk about this in class, do a quick Google search on what, what do we do with the tax money for marijuana? You might be surprised if you don't know. Um, but yeah, they're saying that if liquor was made legal, once again, then they could tax it, okay? And then that income would help pay interest on the debt, basically. Um, pay the interest on the, the entire local and national debt and leave $200 million extra. So once again, I'm um, talking about making some money legally off of this, okay? So not leaving it to the hands of the bootleggers. Question number one, why does Leslie Gordon think it is a good idea for the government to make the sale of alcohol legal? Well, I just talked about that. Reread this. Um, rewind the video if you need to, but what would be good about making uh, the sale of alcohol legal? Besides people that like to have a beer can go get a beer. Okay, that's an obvious reason, but on the big scale, national scale, what's good about making alcohol legal? All right. And on the flip side, you don't have to answer this, write this down, but who does it hurt when, you know, it became illegal? How did it hurt businesses? All right, answer that question. Last one, number two. How does this document help explain why the 18th Amendment was repealed? Okay, so think about in terms of economic needs, why did we change back to the way things were before and make alcohol legal? Do you think that money was involved with that at all? You can see some pretty big numbers right here. So give your opinion on that for number two. And uh, that's it for this document. Only two questions. Okay, answer those. Nice job.